Adrian the DJ. Hashtag diversity of music. Hello, hello. Uh, WCSR here. Uh, this is Adrian and with me, uh, Debs and hi. Katie. Hello. Hi. We're, hi. Here. We're both here now. Yes, that's great to hear you. Uh, listen, uh, what do you think about today? Uh, any special thoughts about uh, our shows? Hmm? I think that we all did very well with our four different genres and creating a diversity of stuff beauty that's just beauty it was it, it was it was it a was, pure it was a beautiful radio show pure brilliant beauty i was really excited <laughs> for the show i was really excited too you were Especially a bit scared sometimes actually just a little bit scared thank you yes of course it's just you know it's our beginnings so no i was i was even more excited when joan jett came on twice mm. <laughs> so adrian what's up next um, well, let's talk about language sandwich. Oh yeah, that <laughs> <thing. laughs> yes. That was in the jingle, Katie. <laughs> that was in the jingle. Uh, Katie was um, pronouncing words in British, and you were trying to pronounce it in Polish. I was saying them in Polish too, you know. Yes, yeah, you were. And you were very good. Thank you. you even did a tongue I, twister. I approve. <laughs> I approve. Would you do language sandwich again, guys? Definitely. We. I had fun making that. We've got to do another episode of Language Sandwich. I this time, I think this time we should include our new lecturer, Greg Hurst, and I'd like to say a huge thank you to him and a huge thank you to John Collins and Robert Tabor too for getting us through this course and for helping us with everything we need to know about being a broadcaster, being the te- doing the tech ops, how to work in a studio. So we'd like to say thank you to them, special tribute to them. Thank you, guys. Also, so, um, Greg, can I get some coffee? <laughs> yes, Greg. A cup of tea when you're ready, please. Yes, yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow in the afternoon for some cup of tea. Thank you, Greg. <laughs> well, so... If you've got any cocktail mixers, just that'd be good, too. You just mm-hmm. want something else, don't you, to drink? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, gentlemen, if you uh, listen to us, a uh, big thank you, of course. Um, we'll have to take you all out sometime. Yes, I'm, I'm joining girls with the thank yous. Yes. Uh, well... Uh, let's make a wee music break right now. That's the music. This is going to be Save the World, Swedish House Mafia. Yes! yes. Yay! Wow, can you feel this hot atmosphere right now, girls? Adrian, you're here, so of course you can feel it. You're in the studio. <laughs> Great song. Great song, Adrian. Thanks very much. I love Swedish so, House Mafia. Me too. I just love the uh, Swedish. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, Adrian's Speaking, Polish. Speaking... Uh, Not as much as the Polish, though. So. Oh, Aww. stop it. <laughs> um, right. Uh, speaking of uh, hot, uh, what are your plans for for the summer, for, Ooh, for the vacation? For, well, for the summer, next weekend, it starts for me. Me and Megan are going to the Moore Festival up north. Near, well, wow. when I say up north, I mean calendar area so not where i live like in inverness no but up north from here okay yeah right uh, what kind of music uh Absol- play there absolutely anything anything it's a friday to sunday weekend away camping we're all going to be there it's a music festival and there's clubs there's tents where you can like there's restaurant tents there's like shop tents it's it's going to be a good weekend away that sounds fantastic. Megan yeah, goes every year, so it's my first time with them. Wow. You should come, Adrian. That's good for Debs. <laughs> uh, no, for Megan, I'm sorry. For Katie. <laughs> for Katie and uh, sh- Don't worry, sh- sh- sometimes, we, sometimes no. we, we call Katie Megan. Some, just sometimes. Katie Megan, That's but de- never sweet. happened to uh, to call uh, Megan Debs and Debs Megan. <laughs> Any, sorry, Dad. It's all sorry, right. Megan. So what I'm doing for so summer. From, so what yes. I'm doing for summer is what I'm there? going to Expo North, which happens June the eighth to ninth. I can't wait. That's your tradition, isn't it? Well, I help Expo North. Yeah. 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 I was there last year, so I'm going there again to volunteer. So I can't wait. There's gonna be so many bands there, and so much stuff to do and watch some films. Oh, Eden Court. So I can't wait. Also, I'm gonna go to Blackpool for summer. With my family. Oh wow, that's cool! I've never been to Blackpool. You never been to Blackpool? Never. It's really nice. Me neither. You Me guys neither. got to go Adrian. see the Red Tower. 
Red Tower. Get on mm. Megabus right now. We're going to Blackpool. <laughs> oh, Megabus is the best. It's not Megabus it, Gold. Oh, not the sleeper one. It's so affordable. Yeah. It's not. That's true. It's so no. cheap. It's like it a, is. It's I love even, I'd rather get there by elephant than do that again. I use Megabus so much <laughs> back in the past. I had to use Megabus for a whole year from Inverness to Elgin. That's like an hour and a half ride in the morning. Scotland. Hashtag Scotland. <laughs> hashtag diversity music. Uh, hashtag Megabus. Yes. Hashtag Dabli says. You just like hashtag, okay. don't you? Yes, Adrian? I love hashtags. Uh, Debs, I have a question to you about the Expo North. Uh, yeah. Could you tell me more? Could you tell us more about this? Like, uh, we'll tell you about Expo North. Like two more words about it. Yes. Uh, for to sum for it those up, who, who don't know. To sum it up, right. what Expo North is about is creative industries. It's so great. Like it's actually run by a person who's part of the BBC. So her name's like Amanda, and she's so great. She's making this whole festival up in Inverness. And it's going to be on again. I mean, it was called Go North, but now it's called Expo North. And I can't believe I'm part of it again as a volunteer. I wonder if I'm doing the radio again, but there's no radio for Expo North this year. It's TV. Just TV. That's interesting too, I think. Hmm? That's very nice. Girls, don't you mind a uh, music break right now? No, I don't I have, mind. No. I have higher and tire crews. Here we go. Kylie Minogue. You're listening to WCSR, West College Scotland Radio. Here with me, uh, here with me, Debs and Katie. Diversity music. Hashtag diversity of music. All right. You're right, yes. Um, girls, tell me, do you have uh, any favorite viral videos on YouTube? Or do you have uh, uh, a favorite YouTuber? Uh, yes. My favourite YouTuber of all time is, it's, oh, I have loads, but it's probably, my top favourite has to be probably Helen Anderson. She's a British YouTuber from Suffolk, and she's was formerly known as Melon Lady. I think she's really funny, really, really pretty, really, really quirky, and I love her accent so much. What does she do, generally? Um, like, uh, random YouTuber stuff? Random, or? well, yeah. She does like hauls and stuff, beauty and hauls and all that, but I like her when she's doing her drunk video. Oh, uh, does she cook drunk or...? No. No? Q&A. Q&A? Oh, yeah. wow, that's interesting. So this is uh, Helen Anderson, did you Formally say? Formerly known as Melon Lady. Melon Lady? Yeah. So, listen up guys, you need to check it out. <laughs> Debs, tell me about your YouTuber or a video. Well, I've already posted it on our event, HNC Grave Unit Days, and I uh, put down Walk Off the Earth. I also put it on my Facebook. Uh, Walk Off the Earth is a, it's a band on YouTube, and I actually got some live in Glasgow. They are so amazing. They were in Glasgow and they played so many instruments, I lost count. Hmm. I went to the concert alone, but it was so worth it. I went to some concerts alone, but you know what? It's just great to go out by yourself sometimes. What genre uh, do they play? Uh, the genre I Walk Off The Earth is, it's just a mixture of songs. They also cover some songs. Uh, one time they sing the song uh, Cheerleader in a tour bus. Hmm. Yeah. That's interesting. So good. I like it. Well, um, my favorite YouTuber for now uh, is a Polish um, Polish person living in uh, Sweden. Uh, he speaks uh, a couple of languages very fluently, uh, also Swedish, uh, English, Italian, uh, Japanese, and he's learning uh, lots of more. Konnichiwa. <laughs> uh, he's he's learning a lot of. Uh, like uh, much more uh, languages um, and he cooks in his videos he cooks very very uh, fancy or even maybe sometimes uh, uh, some low-cost dishes uh, commenting it in, in a very very funny way uh, he, dishes like bigos I'm not sure if he's done I still need to try that that's one bigos. of your specialities isn't it Adrian Yes, it is. Adrian, is that the video you watched yesterday that I saw Yes. You, ah. you saw me laughing so hard. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Probably uh, seeing yeah, the Food Emperor. This is his nickname. You, you had your back to me, so I was like, 
Is he crying? Oh my goodness, I better give him a hug. <laughs> was, we give you a hug and then find out you were laughing. My back was shaking apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, he's brilliant. Uh, he mimics, uh, like, he speaks Polish in, in, his, uh, in his videos and he mimics Swedish accent and adds up some uh, funny Polish expressions. He mixes up words uh, like a foreigner, uh, for example, learning Polish, and it's so fun. It makes me laugh all the time, every at all times, actually. Ad Adrian, <laughs> I've got a question for you. Yes. Could you speak Polish and English? Is there any other language you can speak? Uh, I've been learning French for 10 years, but that's a shame. I don't remember much. Uh, I understand uh, a lot in French, but I can't speak. Is there any other country you'd like to go to? Uh, oh, there there are many countries I want to visit. What um, other ones? Other ones than I visited. I know, really. I know for the holiday um, you, you're going to Spain. Yes, the secrets unveiled. Yes, this is this is true. I'm going to Spain this summer. Uh, uh, like what, suburbs of Malaga, uh, oh. so it's down south, right? Uh, I don't know much about this place right now. Uh, I've been in this region or just in like in this part of Spain, eighteen years, eighteen years ago, actually. So when you were five? Oh. Yes. Maybe in ninety-eight. If you can find a picture of yourself, go and get it of you in Spain, and then check where the location is. Go back. Go to Spain and I then want see to if you go can do back. that. Yes, I if want to yourself. go back to the place because I will be so near to, to the place I've been to. Uh, and I'm going to uh, repeat a picture and uh, double it. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Do that. Is, yeah, I will. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, Before and after. <laughs> yeah. Coming back to languages. Uh, let me finish uh, my answer because... Uh, you know other languages. I... I've learned other languages. Uh, I was a I was on a Chinese course for, for two months, but to be honest, I can recognize maybe ten or twenty characters, Chinese characters, uh, and I don't remember m much words. <laughs> but I wanted, and uh, I was aspiring to speak Chinese fluently. Polish people speak some Czech, so can you speak uh, any Czech for us? Mm, my dad's just come back from Prague. I remember. I thought he'd learned something, but he hasn't. <laughs> I could understand. Uh, I could understand Czech pretty much, uh, but it's a very, 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 very funny language. Uh, as Polish, we find it funny. It sounds very funny because uh, some of ch Czech words uh, sound like okay. Uh, some of Czech words have different meanings. Uh, and and the same pronunciation as as Polish ones. So, Aww. for example, uh, a strawberry can be I don't know a goat or uh, like you know maybe okay this is uh, <laughs> that's just weird kind of yeah kind of weird but uh, I wanted can I, wanted I have a goat to, milkshake? To visualize that actually it. exists. Strawberry milkshake and check. Make your own and then it will exist. Beer shake. <laughs> Does that exist? I don't know, but uh, I don't care. I don't care. We're going to Poland. Czech We're going love to... beer, so Czech people love beer. So I guess there are some. <laughs> Czech Adrian, we need to sign shakes. out. So let's F cars. Let's finish the show. Of course. The hashtag. This has yes. been diversity of music, rocks, and pop, and electronic dance and club music, and, and cinematic player soundtrack no. with Owen. Owen's not right here now. He no. had to yes. catch a boat to get home. We let's say hi to let's say hi to Owen or bye bye Owen yeah bye guys all right bye guys. thank you very much thank You're... you so much for listening Adrian what's the last track the last, the last track, track yes the last track is uh, Troy Sivan Wild bye guys bye bye uh, thank you. Hey. Trying not to...